today is my one year anniversary since I started this whole crazy epic adventure of YouTubing, blogging, making, sitting in front of a camera and just talking a load of shh. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm so grateful that... Can you hear my brother? You better just stop that right now. So grateful that I've made it to one year on YouTube. Um, what can I say? I don't know, it just feels so weird. I don't know why it feels weird. This feels like my first time when I first, maybe because I haven't made it. Leo! Lower your voice! Sorry. <laughs> right, like thinking about what I'm about to say, like I've been. I've been on YouTube a whole year now and that's crazy to me, literally. Well, it's been like a year and a few days because this is a bit late, sorry y'all. Oh my God, before I even start, my makeup might look really, really weird on camera. I just came back from like a casting and I was like trying out a bunch of different makeup shades on me. So I might look a bit crusty right now. Please don't judge me. I'm so grateful and I'm so happy. Thank you to every single person that subscribed. I said it before in my giveaway video. I estimated to hit 10,000 people in my first year and that seemed crazy. What, are you sure? Are you sure and I was like yeah I am but it's not realistic I mean it's really not really I'm not trying to be realistic so I wanted to like push myself so to end the year with 30,000 people is crazy epic to me like thank you guys so much thank you to every single person that hit that subscribe button that subscribed that saw something that you like and decided you know what let me stick around because that's essentially what you've done so thank you guys so much and I think I should take off this party yeah it looks a bit silly doesn't it hold on yeah. But thank you so much guys. So I asked people to ask me on Snapchat just like one year anniversary questions. I picked my top five and let's begin. The first question that was, what is your favorite video so far? Um, I feel like my favorite video so far is definitely the one with me and Keke AJ. That video doesn't have the most views or the most like interaction per se, but outside of YouTube, it did. Like I had so many people Snapchatting me, sending me emails, literally sending me pictures. We made like a mood board, which I still have. Mine's on the wall over there. I need to actually fill it up. But yeah, and that was my favorite video by far because one, not only did we get to like get creative and like make stuff, I really, really like Keke. Me and her just got along so well. But bigger than all of that, the impact and the interaction that I got from everyone was crazy. Like it doesn't have the most views, as I said, but it was one of the videos that like people were actually messaging me saying oh my god thank you so much Mimi oh my god I'm going into uni right now this is gonna help me so much like that video yeah I feel like if I could pick one that would be up there as one of my favorite videos ever that I did just because of how much it did actually help people and it was fun <laughs> the next question is best collab ever oh okay so the best collab ever that I did was it has to be with my Powerpuff Girl squad AMB, Rachel Bada and Nella Rose. Whenever us four get together, it's a party. It's a party. It's a party. It's a I love all my collabs that I did. Like I was watching the collab with Shioni the other day. Like I love that. I love all the collabs and everyone that I've worked with. Like I said this the other day to my mum. Like God's actually brand the right people in my life. I haven't collabed with anyone that I've been like. Oh, like why? Like do you get it? Everyone that I've collabed with, I've loved. But I kind of have to pick my Powerpuff Girls squad because we just lit. Like. <laughs> Um, yeah, but we got more collabs coming. I'm gonna be collabing with. I've already been talking to a few people like Annie Drea, Nissy T, Courtney Daniela. I need you, girl. Um, who else? Um, Life from Layfield. Like, we've all been talking about meeting up and collabing, and yeah, so hopefully that should happen or happen throughout this year. What have you learned so far this year? What have I learned so far in relation to vlogging is girl, you better cream your hands because once you record the video, ain't no going back. You better cream your hands and make sure there ain't nothing in the background because, guys, if you notice, yeah, all my videos, my hands are, oh my god, <laughs> they're actually dry right now. Okay, my hands. No, that is literally one thing that I've learned. You have to cream your hands because once you like go back, oh my God, you can't like re-edit or re-record a whole video. So make sure everything is on point before you press that record button. I'm sure something right now is off. No, but on a serious note, one thing that I've learned is to literally not care. Care, and I always say this, but like, just don't care, just don't care, do it. Just don't care, don't care, just don't care. Everywhere I've gone or every event that I've done or every, every person that I've worked with, they always have that 
ethos in their head they always say the same thing just don't care just go for it don't care what anyone else has to say don't care what anyone else is gonna think just don't care just don't care that's one thing that I've learned what is the aim oh okay so the aim I guess in a sense is to keep growing um, I want to do more interactive things with people if that makes maybe like one-to-one -one sessions or events where I can actually get to meet subscribers follow it's like I've it's like I get scared to say that word like subscribe I don't know it's weird to think that I have subscribers but yeah maybe to do more interactive things with subscribers and people that support me or people that need some sort of help to do more things face to face that's the aim this year to like grow the platform and um, meet more people that meet more people essentially and yeah just keep it lit keep it popping i can admit that there was like a time so let me explain this roller this journey there was times where i used to slack like this year i know i've slacked like and i vow i told my brother that i was gonna do this i vow to work harder to give you a video every single week and to give you lit content not just standard content like i'm literally trying to push myself this year do videos that i like watching funny videos pranks Aaliyah, don't think i forgot don't think i forgot girl <laughs> pranks challenges family videos did i zoom it in by accident oh yeah i think i did sorry yeah just like creating lit content basically that's the big aim for this year the last question wasn't actually a question they actually asked that i watch back my uh well technically it is a question. they actually asked that i watch back my first video it's only been a year but to watch it back and react to it and i was like oh my god like oh my god like okay yeah i'll do that yes yeah, so i'm literally gonna go to my first ever video and watch it back one year seeing the one year is still like oh my god okay and welcome to my first video. <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy i'm not trying to get copyright so this one being like this just six feet. This is for the it's something that didn't turn out exactly how your mom and dad wanted you. Laugh like a Can you believe it? I just recorded this and I never pressed the record button. Halfway through the camera just turned off. I still do that now. Anyways, hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I saw this quote on Instagram that made me think. It made like a light bulb in my head just go. I was so gassed when I did that, guys. I was so, that was like my first edit. I was like, ding! <laughs> I'm such a neat. Oh my god, I look so fat in this video. Like my cheeks look so chubby. I probably look exactly the same, but oh my god, that's crazy to me. My room is so different now. Um aww. Yeah, that was cute. Mm -hmm. Most streams don't. So, is anyone out there who's considering starting YouTube or considering starting a blog, just do it and don't put off from doing it. Because I remember I said to myself that I didn't want to start YouTube because I have a bit of weight on me. I wanted to get everything on put. Because of that, I put off YouTube for so, so long. Essentially, I was kind of like tricking myself to like put it back and push it back and push it back, if you get what I'm trying to say. Because I'm still the same weight. I might even be a bit bigger, I don't know. But so if I was still waiting, then that means I wouldn't have ever started. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm still trying to lose that weight because I'm subconsciously throwing it off and saying, oh no. Yeah, just do it, man. Just do it. Shout out to the people that have helped me. Like, even like the E4 thing. So getting on E4, a lot of people ask me how did um, I get them on for that short little clip on E4. Long story short, there was this girl who went to my uni. She was my housemate's friend. I used to live with boys and she was my housemate's friend. And she used to always come over and like, obviously I'm African. So when you come over to my house, it's, hi guys, do you want water? Any of his friends that came over, hi guys, do you want water? Do you want drink? I was just always nice to his friends or very cordial with them. And um, yeah, look, three years down the line, she ended up working for E4 or she works for um, a casting crew for E4. She basically contacted me and was like, I saw your family on YouTube, do you want to come down and do vlogger box? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? She explained that it was just like a short little clips here and there, but am I up for it? And I was like, yeah, why not? Like it's something. So shout out to you, girl, shout out to you. Like she really helped me. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to like have a mentor. I really should say manager, but I don't like saying it because I'm not an, I'm not an official, she's not my official manager. I'm, an, I'm on an in, in exclusive contract, but she's like one of like 
the biggest lessons that have come this year because she's been helping me a lot, been teaching me a lot. Like she like wants to remain anonymous, so I'm not gonna say who she is, but she's like a massive YouTuber and um, just been helping, helping me, mentoring me. Like she'll call me and say, Mimi, do this, Mimi, do that. And she's basically been helping me get a lot of brand works, so, like working with companies and um, yeah so I'm so grateful for her thank you to my friends and family like I don't I hate calling people's names out because I know I'm gonna forget people but let me just shout out one person my friend Chinna Ray thank you so much like she like is basically me she always like promotes everything and she basically puts her work she puts my work as if it was her as if it's her work do you get it so that's why like everyone who's helped me they're gonna read what they sow like literally like obviously i'm nowhere now but by god's grace i will reach somewhere and um pay back everyone in the way um, in ways that i can um and shout out to bae because like <laughs> they're not talking about him on camera but shout out to him like literally he has helped me a lot and no one even understands like when i wanted to buy a camera i wasn't working i wasn't um oh my god i'm getting emotional i wasn't working i didn't have money like that like i didn't have money like that and he, he got me a job on the weekends Then i got myself like a nine to five so guys when i told you to get all this equipment i was working seven days a week i didn't care like i didn't have a break i was i knew i wanted to do this so like I was working on the weekends in retail, then I was working a nine to five, like I literally didn't care. Even little stuff that I was getting, like I didn't know all this stuff. He did the research, he found the best quality camera, he but the stuff that like he just basically did everything for me. So and he supports me in everything that I do. So shout out to you. Shout out to all my friends that do support. If you do support, then I don't have to say your name. You know who you are. Like shout out to you. I keep looking there. Sorry. And shout out to my Powerpuff Girl squad as well. Like literally wow, they keep me we keep each other sane because this is a lot, um, but mostly shout out to Aaliyah. Like me and Rachel went to the same school. I met Nella through blogging and stuff, but me and Aaliyah, like she literally, we both had braids on Instagram. I remember this girl followed me. She had braids on Instagram. And I was like, oh, I see this girl all over. I see this girl all over Tumblr. Like she cute, she cute. And we used to like come up on each other's pictures. Like, oh my God, I love your braids. Like, we both had like exactly the same hairstyle. I'll set a picture of hair if I can find it. Yeah, we just used to be Instagram friends really. And then one day we met up and did like a little business deal together. And this was like four years ago, or like, yeah, like four years ago. And we met up and we just always kept in contact through there, but via social media. And then when I was gonna start YouTube, literally like a month before I was about to start YouTube, I DM'd her and I was like, Aaliyah, I wanna start a YouTube channel. Like, I need I need help. She was like, girl, meet me in Stratford tomorrow. Bring your notebook, bring your laptop or whatever. And I'm gonna give you all the tips to give. And I was like, who does that? Like, I was like, I was like, what time? What time you need me to be there? I got, I got my pen, I got my notebook, I'm ready. Like, I wanna learn. That's literally how I was. Cause I was just like, what? That's, it was so sweet of her. But um, yeah, so hopefully this year, bigger, better, more creative content. I'm considering making a family segment. Like, cause y'all seem to love my crazy ass family. I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't. I don't even know something else that I'm working on but um yeah so thank you guys so much for all your support all your loyalty god I don't know what I don't know how to talk it's so weird like it's been a bit of a year me like pick up but yeah thank you guys so much for all your support well if you are still watching this and you're not subscribed please help subscribe um let's make this family grow or whatever I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye guys.